all of us at Toyota believe in a future that will be safer, greener, and easier for everyone. This could signal the beginning of the end for electric cars. Rumors within the auto industry suggest that Toyota is preparing to reveal something extraordinary. An engine powered not by gasoline, electricity, or compressed hydrogen, but by water. Yes, water. Long regarded as fantasy or a backyard tinkerer's dream, the water-powered engine may finally be crossing into reality. And Toyota could be the one to make it happen. If true, this isn't just a breakthrough, it's a disruption. One powerful enough to overturn what we thought we knew about clean transport and energy. So, is this really happening? Let's dig deeper. The myth, the machine, and the moment. For years, the notion of a water-fueled engine has lingered on the edges of belief. Somewhere between myth, science fiction, and small-scale garage experiments. Too simple. Too impossible. Inventors tried, but mainstream automakers kept their distance. Most experts dismissed the idea as inefficient, impractical, or outright fraudulent. But that silence may be ending. Toyota, the company that redefined mobility with the Prius Hybrid and advanced hydrogen tech with the Mirai, is now rumored to be working on a fully functioning water-powered engine. One that doesn't need batteries, fossil fuels, or heavy hydrogen tanks. The secret lies in real-time electrolysis, splitting hydrogen from water directly inside the car. That hydrogen is burned in the engine like natural gas. It's no longer a fantasy. It's a prototype in the making. What was once a dream could soon be rolling off assembly lines. With Toyota leading, the boundary between fiction and fact is rapidly dissolving. How the water engine works, a quiet revolution. At its core, Toyota's water-fueled engine runs on electrolysis. Water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. By applying an electric current, the engine separates them instantly. Unlike hydrogen cars that require bulky tanks of stored gas, this design makes hydrogen on demand inside the car itself. The separated hydrogen is immediately fed into a combustion chamber, igniting to drive the engine much like natural gas. The oxygen, released safely, or even used in combustion. No external hydrogen refills, no risky storage. The process uses only a reservoir of distilled water and a set of electrodes powered by a compact onboard system. It's neither an EV nor a hydrogen fuel cell. It's a new category altogether. Mechanical, chemical, and remarkably simple. Efficient, clean, and easily scaled, this system doesn't just improve current tech. It rewrites the rules. Why it could outpace electric vehicles. For years, EVs have been hailed as the future. But behind their sleek exteriors are hidden costs. Lithium mining, rare earth extraction, and battery disposal, all casting shadows on their green image. Add in slow charging times and the vast cost of charging infrastructure, and the EV dream begins to falter. Toyota's water engine offers a different answer. It avoids the environmental toll of battery manufacturing. No cobalt, no nickel, no lithium, just plain distilled water. Refueling is as easy as topping up a tank. No hours of waiting at a charging station, no reliance on power grids. And emissions? Virtually none. Matching EVs in cleanliness while being more convenient. No high-voltage charging networks, no specialized fuel depots. In theory, anywhere with clean water could keep cars moving. For a world desperate for simple, sustainable answers, this is not just a rival to EVs. It's a ground-up challenge to their dominance. A game-changer for the developing world. In places where EV infrastructure is limited and fuel costs are unstable, Toyota's water engine could be revolutionary. Many developing nations struggle with few charging stations, 
high tariffs on lithium batteries, and unreliable power grids. For them, EVs are not just costly, they're unrealistic. Water, though, is everywhere. A car running on distilled water cuts through the need for complex systems. No charging stations, no oil refineries, no imported fuels. Just a jug of water, some clever engineering, and you're mobile. That simplicity is transformative, granting independence from volatile energy supplies and politics. For countries without oil reserves, it could be the first step to real energy freedom. And with simpler mechanics, repairs would be cheaper than both EVs and gasoline cars. For millions priced out of clean transport, Toyota's water engine might finally unlock the door. Performance, efficiency, and safety. Water engines have often been written off as weak or experimental, but prototypes suggest otherwise. Hydrogen, once extracted from water, is an incredibly energy-rich fuel. Some estimates place its energy output at up to three times that of gasoline. One early project by Iranian researcher Aladdin Kasemi showed his modified Peugeot 405 achieving 30 to 40 miles per gallon of water, better than its original fuel efficiency. If Toyota applies its expertise, this could set new global standards. Safety is another win. Unlike gasoline or stored hydrogen, water itself doesn't burn. Hydrogen is produced only as needed, removing the danger of gas buildup or explosions. And with no heavy lithium batteries, the risk of fires drops significantly. Simpler, cooler running, and with fewer moving parts, Toyota's water engine promises not only performance, but long-term reliability. Challenges on the road ahead. As radical as this sounds, mass adoption won't come easily. Skepticism is the first barrier. For decades, water-fueled cars have been linked to fringe science and unproven claims. Convincing the public, even with Toyota's reputation, will require proof, safety tests, and real-world performance. Then there's scale. On-demand electrolysis requires efficient electrodes and steady power input. Ensuring consistent operation in varied climates and over years of use is a huge challenge. Regulatory systems also pose hurdles. Current automotive rules cover gasoline, diesel, EVs, and hydrogen. A brand new category will face years of approvals. Finally, cost. While water is cheap, the high-grade components that enable safe, efficient electrolysis may start off expensive. But Toyota's manufacturing power could drive costs down rapidly. If history proves anything, Toyota doesn't back impossibilities. It builds the future step by step. Why this moment matters. This isn't just about an engine. It's about timing. The EV transition is facing setbacks, battery shortages, ethical concerns around mining, limited charging stations, and high costs. The global push for clean mobility is stalling. That's where Toyota's water engine fits, not as a replacement for EVs, but as a practical alternative. No lithium mines, no massive charging networks, no fragile global supply chains. What it offers instead is rare in green tech, simplicity. A car that runs on water and produces hydrogen only when needed could be the missing link between today's obstacles and tomorrow's solutions. If it works, this won't just be a new engine, it will be a new path. Perhaps the solution we've been searching for has been flowing all along. The wheels are already turning. The only question is, how soon?